everybody and welcome back to Cup of Joe. As always, I'm your host Jason McNeil and today on the show we're going to discuss something that I have tried fairly hard to not discuss on the show because it just, it makes me absolutely bananas and that's the continued assault on the Scarborough subway. Can we please put this thing to bed? Can we please stop attacking something that, you know, the substantial majority of Scarborough residents would like to see built? Can we stop just, you know, mindlessly calling it, uh, you know, just this uh, ill-thought plan? And can, can we just quit it? Can you stop undermining what we would like to happen? Okay? Now, I, I've listened to the arguments over and over and over, and I haven't heard any really coherent argument as to why, you know, we shouldn't have this. But here's the, the talking points that you'll hear. It's too expensive. It's too expensive. Okay, I've heard that. I disagree. Next point, right? Okay, so, well, no, no, it's, uh, it doesn't have the ridership to justify, you know, and it won't pay for itself. Okay, it's public transit. It's not supposed to pay for itself. It's subsidized. That's the whole point of public transit. And these same people understand that when they buy $900 million worth of streetcars. That we don't have yet, by the way. But they understand it then. It's subsidized. It doesn't pay for itself. It's for the people, right? It's for the community. But here in Scarborough, no, no, it's got to pay for itself immediately or else it's just not worth it. It's stupid, it's ludicrous, and I, I don't understand why they continue to say this. Second thing is, this is backwards and reactionary thinking, right? You can build a city two ways. You can allow things to get to a certain point and then be like, wow, we really need to build something to take care of this. Or you can build something and then regulate the city around it, right? These are the choices you have. Now, right now, we are reactionary. What we have is a city that's way too big with way too many people and a subway system that is laughable. It's too small for the city that we live in. You can swear up and down that Scarborough doesn't deserve this and Scarborough doesn't deserve that. It doesn't change the fact that Toronto is too big and has too many people for the subway system that we have. It needs to expand. That's the point, right? So next thing, they'll tell you, oh, no, no, well, since you're not on the, 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 the cheaper bandwagon, well, the LRT provides more coverage, they'll say. It provides more coverage because it has more stops. Because these people don't understand how things work, like catchment areas, or they manipulate how they work. They'll tell you that, oh, there's more stops, so there's more access. Every projection of the Scarborough LRT versus the Scarborough subway extension has more people getting on the subway. So while they'll tell you, well, it's, you know, more people can walk to the LRT stop, that doesn't matter. More people would rather drive to the subway or take the bus to the subway. What we want is a connection to the transit spine of Toronto. And all the reasons you tell me why LRT is good, none of them address that. All they do is make it so that we have this system that ends at Kennedy, where the new village system for Scarborough picks up, and it's just this different kind of place out there in Scarborough, and they have this LRT transit, and that's how it works. No. Unacceptable if we want to be called the mega city, right? If we want to actually be a city the size that we are. So... We, we talk about things like catchment area. I used to live in Thorncliff Park. You might not know where that is, but it's about a 15-minute bus ride from Pape Station or, Don, uh, or uh, Broadview Station. Now, I would consider that very good access to the TTC, to the subway. Now, some people will tell you, no, no, you had to get on a bus. You, didn't, you couldn't walk there, so that's, you didn't have access. No, that's nonsense. You, who don't live in Scarborough, trying to dictate to me, who lives in Scarborough, how far the access should be for it to be manageable or good. Well, the people in Scarborough have told you, these places, we can get to them, and we'd like to have subway stops there. It's not that hard. 600,000 people live here. We want one in the middle, right? And it's come down to just one. You've whittled it down to just one. So can we have the one stop? Probably not, right? If the Toronto Star has anything to say with it, if the uh, Josh Matlows have anything to say about it. So anyway, my problem is, when I hear these attacks, on the system and, and calling it ill thought and calling it a stupid thing and you know these complaints it always seems that people who don't live in Scarborough in fact who see Scarborough as somewhere else these are the people that want to dictate how how we can you know make things better for the people in Scarborough right have you been to Scarborough do you come here to eat do, do you frequent the restaurants do you work in Scarborough do you live in Scarborough or is Scarborough somewhere else you remember when Rob Ford got arrested, uh, got, got, <laughs> sorry, not arrested, Freudian slip. Remember when Rob Ford got elected? You know how many people, these same people that say you're a dummy for believing that we should build a subway, same people said 905ers elected Rob Ford. 
Yeah, that, that's the group of idiots that we're dealing with here, right? They, they don't even know that only 416ers can vote in a Toronto election and that Scarborough's part of your city. It's not somewhere else. It only feels like Scarborough because it's hard to get here. I was a kid, I went to Scarborough Town Center once. I used to live in East York, like I said, Thornton Park. I went to Scarborough Town Center once. I said, I'm never getting on that stupid RT little toy train again. And I never came back. I'll go to Eden Center. That's another part of the problem, but we'll get to that later. So, then they'll tell you what other lines are our priorities. The downtown relief line we need. That's what we need. Okay, I agree. We need relief for, for that, you know, Young and Bloor line or, or the Young and St. George line. But if what we do is we build a second line here by PAPE or a second line down over here in the West End, what are we doing? We're setting up a system where we're emptying out, say, you know, 40%, 50% of the riders. So we have two trains that are not full going to the same place. So where are we going to put the investment? Where is all the jobs going to go? Where is all that? It's going to go where we can get mass amounts of people. So we're saying, hey, you know what? We're not done filling downtown. Let's fill it more. Or we can start building out and we can actually create other destinations, other places to invest. Consider this. Anyone east of Maine, if we build the Scarborough extension to Scarborough Town Center, can now go to Scarborough Town Center just as easily as they can go to Eden Center. And there's the crux of it all, right? Some people don't want you going elsewhere. They want you coming here, to this spot. And they bamboozle you and tell you that's stupid. It's not about carrying a few thousand people from Scarborough. It's about making Scarborough a place where you can put destinations, where you can have investment, where we can densify. People talk about density, density, density. Let me explain something, okay? Density comes from two things. One is poverty and one is convenience. The subway is convenience and it will bring density because people know they can get mass amounts of investment around these areas, right? The other one is poverty and that's what these people would like to see happen. They want Scarborough to get as poor as possible, right? All of the poor stuff can be pushed out there. All of the investment can go downtown. Then you'll have this mass density and we'll deal with it at that point. You think when Scarborough is a poorer neighborhood, a poorer area, and there's more people living here, and they're crammed into buildings and, so, and stuff like that, you think then they're gonna be like, hey, let's invest in Scarborough. Let's go out to Scarborough and build them something. The RT system was built 30 years ago. It was temporary, remember? So forgive me if people in Scarborough might be a little bit jaded about the whole, well, we'll kick the can down the road thing. That's the real waste of money, okay? It's not the billions of dollars it's gonna cost to build the subway. It's the talking about it and then canceling it and then making another plan and then another plan. At some point, you have to let go. Listen, I don't, I don't want the Eglinton Crosstown to come above ground after Don Mills, to be above ground in Scarborough. But at some point, I got to stop kicking the can down the road and be like, this is what they planned. Just build it, right? I want Shepherd Subway. I want that. I think that that was important. It was a very important project. But you guys decided, no, you know what? An LRT connecting to the subway stub, connecting to another LRT. This is the best we can do. And at some point, I have to give up that fight and say, forget it, just build. Can you guys do me that same favor on the Scarborough subway? For that matter, can we stop calling it the Scarborough subway? It's an extension of the Bloor line. People talk about it like it's this self-contained subway that people are just gonna ride back and forth on. It's not. It's taking the Ferrari that Toronto has as a transit spine and extending it to a few more hundred thousand people out here so they can use it can also be used by people from Markham, from Ajax, from Pickering. Think about it, if you're traveling across the top of the city and you wanna drop your kids off to spend the day in Toronto, you can stop at Scarborough Town Center. It's right off the highway. Drop them off and go on your way. You don't have these options now. Kennedy Station is the closest you... Anyway, look, it, it makes me bananas. It's absolutely ridiculous. So, the subway, when they talk about it, they should be talking more about creating other places to go, creating other places for investment around the city and all of these things, not moving 7,200 people. Which, by the way, even the low ball projections, including John Tory's stupid smart track thing that was ready to go but apparently hasn't been studied or researched or anything, that thing, when you take those riders off and you give the low ball and it still comes out to more people in their projections for future like 2031 than they expect to get on at Kipling Station. Right? It's still more. So even if it's a waste of money, even if it's a boondog, it's not the first tax increase you've ever got. And for the record, it's not like people are gonna be knocking on your door like, hey, where's the subway money? We need the sub it's the same as everything else. All the other boondoggles and billion dollar waste that they do and that you pay for and that you, you apparently don't feel, same thing. 
They're just trying to make this sound like it's different, like it's the first transit investment they've ever made. It's stupid. So please, people, don't buy into this. And frankly, Scarborough, can we be more vocal? I know we don't have the time, right? We thought this was signed. We thought that, you know, where's Mitzi Hunter? Mitzi Hunter, where the hell are you? Working on the ORRP, which has been pushed back, but that's what you're advertising? Where are you on this, hey, we're building a subway, stop. Stop with the nonsense and shenanigans. Come on. The only person defending it is John Tory. Paul Ainsley, why don't you grow a pair? I know it's hard to stand up to the Josh Matlows and such down at City Hall, but you have to do it. For Scarborough, you have to do it. You have to say, look, it's not about what you want. It's not about uh, building the cheapest possible thing for Scarborough. It's about what Scarborough wants to see. Why can't we do that? Can we just, you know, end this fight and move on? That's how I feel, uh, you know. Can't wait to hear how you feel. So hit me up on the website at coverjoecanada.com or you can hit me on Twitter. It's at Cup of Joe Canada.